In this video, we need to show that the two drawings represent the same graph by labeling the vertices and edges of the right-hand drawing to correspond to those of the left-hand drawing. So, in other words, we need to show that these two graphs are the same, or in other words, that they are isomorphic. Now, you might say, well, these graphs don't look the same. Well, they are in the sense that they contain and convey the same amount of information about the vertices and the edges. So the first thing I would notice is that with this graph, with both of these graphs, there's only one vertex with degree one. So we could say right off the bat that this vertex would have to be V5. V5 is connected to V2 right here. And so that would mean that V5 over here has to be connected to V2 over here. And that is by edge E6. V2 is connected to two vertices, V4 and V6. And this graph is also connected to two other vertices besides V5. So these two vertices over here must be V4 and V6. And it doesn't matter which one you pick, so long as your choices for the edges are consistent with the vertices. I picked V4 over here, which means that this edge has to be E5. I picked V6 over here, which means this edge needs to be E7. And from here we keep working. V6 is connected to V1. That's the only other vertex it's connected to. And that's via edge 1. V4 is connected to V3 by edge 4. And we can see, according to this graph, V3 and V1 are connected by edge 2 and edge 3. So it doesn't matter which one we put for edge 2 and edge 3, so long as they both connect to V3 and V1. Anyways, that's one way of solving this problem. There are multiple solutions. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.